uh, many cases of drunken driving and crimes of road rage, snatchings and molestation take place due to the absence of street lights and inefficient policing. Yes, ma'am, ma the obvious error should be in part 3, change absent to absence, agreed. But also my doubt is there is repetition of and in the sentence, should it be removed or fine as it is? Uh, so basically her question is, we have and and then again and, if you are looking at technically, technically, grammatically, uh, when you have a list, right? So the list is cases of drunken driving, crimes of road rage, road rage snatchings and molestation, right? So these are the three things. So when you technically have a list, it should be comma, co not comma here because that's the last one, comma and Cases of drunken driving, comma, crimes of road rage snatchings and molestation. Yeah, that would be the ideal scenario. But we do have constructions which are okayed as an acceptable this way. As in the question, many cases of drunken driving and crimes of road rage snatchings and molestation take place due to the absence of. So for a question like this, I would suggest you stick to the most obvious error, which is part three. Right? Absence. And, and don't get into the mode of, uh, you know, in terms of punctuations. It's, this is a punctuation error, right? Basically, I'm saying instead of this and here, put a comma. For the most part, the direction itself will sometimes say e ignore errors of punctuation. So keeping that in mind, just focus on what's the most obvious error, mark that and move on. Right? If you want to get technical, yes, this is ideally how it should be without the and in the first case. You may not know it, but this engine is claimed to have twice as powerful as the previous one. Please explain. Okay, let's explain. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, there are there is there is two way there are two ways of looking at this. Okay, you may not know it, but this engine is claimed. You can have something. You can claim to be something. To have something. Let's look at both the contexts, okay? I mean, if you ask me, I would say uh, there is a possibility for this question to have, you know, if I say if I say the error is in part um, three, okay, for example, right? Part three error, I will say claimed to be twice as powerful as the previous one. Okay, I will also say, I can also say, hey, the error is, can also be in part 4. Where I am saying, you may not know it, but this engine is claimed to have twice the power as the previous one. Right, I can, I can rewrite this sentence both ways. So, I can say, hey, yeah, the error can be in part 3, the error can also be in part 4. Because I can rewrite this sentence both these ways. Yeah, what is this? Spot the error options um, okay slightly slight variation okay let's look at it the surprise appointment of Salil Parekh as CEO and MD of Infosys signal the end of an acrimonious feud between founders of the company and its management over leadership and governance issues okay so let's look at it uh, the surprise appointment of so this is where the prepositional phrase starts so for me uh, with the definite article being the subject which means it's a singular subject we're talking about, right? Uh, of Salva, C O N M D of M C. So, which means this is my verb, but obviously is in the plural verb. I need to change this to si singular. So, it'll be signals. You know? The surprise appointment of Salil Parak as C O N M D of Infosys signals the end of. This is my verb. This is my action word. Verb. Right? So, Applying subject verb agreement, I will say signals the end of an acrimonious feud. What's a feud? Uh, yeah, basically like a dispute, right? So, so we definitely know that uh, B has an error, right? A fight between who? Between who specifically? The founders, the founders of the company and its management over leadership and governance issues, which means kya hai? The error is also in, this falls where, I'm a little confused now. The blah, 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 this is A, this is B, this is C. Hey, na? Am I correct? So the error, I see the error is in um, B and C. 
so it should be option 3 so in option B you change signal to signals so that it matches with the singular subject the surprise appointment right part B part C you add the definite article in front of founders Khatam. that's it let's move on founders of the company the company's founders huh either ways it's okay you can also put it like that the company's founders that's also fine the company's founders is nothing but you are just expanding it right the founders of the company yeah so either ways the error is in both b and c yeah let's move on another one of sagas while the appointment of the neil kenny parik combined puts to rest issues related to emphasis leadership duo has a challenge on their hands in addressing concerns around the company's future giving the fast changing technology landscape huh okay so i'm making sense but let me look at it okay while the appointment of so and so combined puts to rest issues related to emphasis leadership the who has a challenge the specifically the duo has a challenge on their hands in what in addressing concern, concerns around the company's future not giving the fast changing this is a reason right so which means it has to be given given the fast changing okay if I have to rephrase this sentence I'll say given the fast changing technology landscape the duo has a challenge on their hands in addressing concerns around the company's future while the appointment of the uh, Neil Kenny Parikh combined puts to rest issues related to Infosys leadership right so if I rewrite the sentence I will say the error is in B and the error is in uh, D whichever that option is which is B and D which is B and D 2 not 4 let me rewrite the sentence so that that will make more sense for you this being the reason given what is the reason the fast changing technology landscape the duo has a challenge on their hands in what in addressing concerns around the company's future what is wrong with around you want to say about huh? the concern is about or the concern is around it doesn't matter right it gives the same meaning it's not grammatically incorrect in addressing so what would you change it to Banashri if at all you had to change the company's future while the appointment there you go let's read given the fast changing technology landscape the duo has a challenge on their hands in addressing concerns around the company's future while the appointment of the Neelikeni Parak combined puts to rest issues related to Infosys leadership there you go so this is happening while is a basically a conjunction right it's telling while the appointment of the blah 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 who's having a problem the duo about what addressing concerns on the company's future why because of the fast changing technology landscape that's it not giving this giving doesn't make sense here because the reason is the reason why they are having a challenge is because of the fast changing technology landscape yeah so the error is in B and D clear the BIS said the benign global economy which is predicted by the International Monetary Fund to see growth accelerate next year to 3.7 percent from 3.6 percent this year was encouraging investors to dismiss concerns about high debt levels and growing asset bubbles in part C was should be wrong here ma'am the general sentence uh, tense in the sentence is um, for the predominant part is past tense no said so basically the benign global economy was encouraging investors to dismiss concerns about high debt levels and growing asset bubbles yeah I think it's I think I think it's fine as it is I don't see any error here as such the BIS said the benign global economy was encouraging investors to dismiss concerns about high debt levels and growing asset bubbles yeah I don't see anything wrong there do you want to change it to is okay yeah I get I get what you're saying Sagar but the meaning of the sentence or uh, grammar wise does not really need you to change it to was because it's saying the BIS, the BIS said that something was happening that can also be correct is what I feel I mean I don't see the need for you to change was to is both both would be fine I guess you can either say is or was depending on um, what tense you're suggesting 
The BIS said the benign global economy, which is predicted by the International Monetary Fund to see growth, accelerates ac growth accelerate next year to 3.7% from 3.6% this year, is, is encouraging investors to dismiss concerns about high debt levels and growing asset bubbles. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, if you honestly ask me, I don't see an error there. Because I can say, um, Sagar said that he was not going to do that particular thing. Sagar said that he is not going to do that. Right? I mean, both are okay. Grammatically. Right? It's just the placement of tense. I don't know. Honestly, if you ask me, I will say no error. I'll say it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go with that. 